Good morning, folks. That's quite a statement, isn't it? It comes from the latest on Dwarf Galaxies, and boy, I hope the Thunderbolts caught this one. The randomness to the gravitational standards is obliterated by observation after observation that reveal electromagnetic influence, whether like pearls on a string or here, an astoundingly formed disk pattern to that which should be random. This is what the physicists who come to the Mobile Observatory events keep saying. Nobody wants to see the standards fall away, but our observational evidence keeps proving that our mathematical modeling is quite poor. Scientists baffled over the quiet sun? Well, I know about 187,000 observers who are not only not baffled, but expected the solar shutdown. For just one example, I'll repost Chowdhury 2013, showing around a 400-year grand minimum cycle that we are just about due for again right now. Also gotta love the double whammy here. Confirmation that there has been no global warming for nearly two decades and that good bits of that pause are of natural origin. When they figure out the warming was too, they'll be good to go. Quake Watch continued to hit with a 6.9 striking Fiji yesterday, but luckily it was very, very deep. Not much surface effect. We also have a less powerful but certainly unusual uptick in Egypt that has now spread north of the Mediterranean as well. Staying at RSOE for a moment to note an oil pipeline leak on a reservation in North Dakota. Also, a tornado that tore through southern France, killing at least two people. Typhoon Matmo, still strong, with a new disturbance right behind it. The second one may be a little bit easier to see on the wind map here. The Atlantic Low indeed formed a tropical depression, something we'll need to keep an eye on. The only thing I want to point out in Europe today is the northern flow of heat directly to the geographic North Pole, our axis. That's a long way up and probably not good news for the ice. Convergence is easily spotted here in Western Australia. You can see it in the cloud water as the long line moves on east of New Zealand as well. Canada gets a break from the major storm watches tonight as we shift southward slightly for the convergence. Residents in the Midwest need to have eyes open tonight. Check your forecasts. I would also like to introduce the Misery Index, the newest overlay to the Earthwind map. Black or a touch of blue represent okay conditions, but swing too hot or too cold, and you're going to see it here. We'll quickly go around the world showing those Misery Indices. Solar Wind Density drops off while the speed takes a slight rise. That's likely a coronal hole stream, but yet another weak one at that. Minor magnetic disruptions only to this event. So let's look at the sunspots. Our baby group is departing on the south, but we do have a couple incomers. The north appears to be the more interesting to watch. Another day is needed for classification, but at least it is not completely silent. Nevertheless, it could only take us into mid-B range thus far. More of that quiet sun that some expected and others apparently didn't. The earth-facing filament north of the equator did slide back into the star and is less of a concern now. Jupiter still heading in behind the sun for conjunction there. It arrives along with a spate of coronal holes on the disk to create our current earthquake watch. Hopefully we've now released enough pressure for this round, but alas, factors say the watch must continue for now. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.